So a customer sent this board in for repair. It's a control module for a vehicle. And uh, they requested that we perform a reball on this. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I've already gone ahead and removed the conformal coating using the conformal coating stripper. Um, next thing to do is to remove the lithium ion battery and then we can remove the processor and reball it. We're removing the lithium ion battery because I don't want to put any heat stress on it and I don't think it's really a good idea to have that thing on the BJ machine. All right, we've removed the lithium ion battery and now we're ready to put this board on the machine. We've set our profile for non-leaded solder. We've reached our desired temperature and we're going to remove the CPU. Going to clean up the old solder. The giant spatula tip really helps make this job a whole lot easier. And now that we've removed the old solder, we'll be able to install some new leaded solder on the original CPU. The conformal coating makes it a little bit more of a challenge to remove the solder off of the BGA. And it's very important that we remove all that conformal coating and gunk, otherwise the new solder balls will not attach. All right, looks like we got all the old solder and we're gonna proceed to reballing this thing. And we've just finished the process of reballing, and now we're going to reattach the chip. First, going to put some flux on there. We finished the reattachment process and now we're just going to wait for the board to cool before we reattach the lithium ion battery. Since this board originally had a bunch of coating on it to protect it from the weather and moisture, uh, we did have to remove it in order to reball the CPU. So we're going to put some of the conformal coating back on. We'll be applying a uh, thin layer of this stuff here. And this concludes our repair of the control board. If you liked the information shown in this video or if this helped you, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.